Toyota champs and yes it is CES time and there's so much good stuff so much good stuff how am I going to get through it all well I'm just going to pick out the stuff I'm interested in and what I think you will be interested in we'll start off with XPS and if you are interested in laptops the best laptops I'm going to be comparing these laptops to the M1 Max of course make sure you do subscribe uh, there's a lot of good laptops trust me subscribe and if you thought it was hard to pick a laptop already wow I gotta tell you in 2022 it is going to be almost impossible to pick a laptop. I mean, there are so many good laptops. But first, let's get into the XPS 13, 13 Plus. And in the title, yes, I did put XPS 17 and 15 because I know I'm going to be asked about them. Do not expect those laptops May, June, somewhere around that area, maybe Computex time. So that's all we have on those laptops at the moment. But one thing to note is we're going to have a look at the XPS 13 Plus. The XPS 15 and 17 pretty much follow closely in the footsteps of the XPS 13. They end up being the same sort of design, just bigger, right? I started off with this laptop because this is so impressive and I've never seen this stuff on a laptop before. First of all, oh my god, remember when I said your laptop will look like this one day when I was talking about the XPS 15, 13, 17, doesn't matter. No laptops are quarter in terms of look with the Infinity Edge, you know, zero bezel sort of laptop. They've just gone one step further. Have a look at this. Where's the trackpad? Where's it gone? talk about that so here you can see starting at 1100 or 1200 yeah it's going to be expensive it is at the premium end remember the xps 13 compared to m1 max so we're talking macbook air and macbook pro 13 should not be compared to the 14 and 16 of course these are going to have older lake cpus this time up to 28 watts so they're going to be the p variants p sits in between u and h i'll show you the specs in a sec there actually is an amazing p part but that means more power, up to 28 watts, 55% more airflow. Wolf, nice and light, 1.24 kilos, it's less than three pounds. That is just amazing. And that's why you can't compare this to the MacBook Pro 14. It's a much thinner, lighter laptop. It is a pure Ultrabook. Now it does sort of have like a touch bar, like a capacitive touch function row. I'm not 100% sure of that, but anyway, the main thing here is the force pad haptics, okay? There is no trackpad. We'll see it in a sec. New keyboard edge to edge, CNC machined aluminium or aluminium. <laughs> oh, come on, it's aluminium, isn't it? But anyway, available in two colors, platinum or graphite. I'm definitely going to get the platinum, the white version. Better speakers, OLED. We're going to have OLED. And of course, this is one of the best laptop for developers because you will get the Ubuntu version. So you'll get a Linux version, so developer version, or you can have Windows 11, your choice. So there it is in all its glory. Look at that. Big keys, edge to edge keyboard, the capacitive function keys on the top. I'm not 100% sold on that, but it does look futuristic, right? And where's the trackpad? Well, there is no trackpad. That whole bottom surface is trackpad and it's haptics, okay? So it's like force touch on the Mac, but you can use it anywhere, right-hander, left-hander. You don't have to use the trackpad in the middle now. You can use it on the right or left, doesn't matter. And I'll just loop this video while we're talking about it. That is a major step in ergonomics, okay? I hate trackpad shifted to the left and even in the center, sometimes it's not very ergonomic. To be able to use the trackpad at the right edge of the laptop is amazing. And big keys, edge to edge keyboard, bigger keyboard. It can only be better, right? So let's have a look at its specifications. Now, these are the CPUs going in there. Of course, 12th generation. Now the one I want to particularly pick out, which will be an absolute monster, is this one here. This has 14 cores, so it has the same amount of cores as the H parts. So 6 performance cores. So the H parts have 6 performance cores too, at the higher end, right? But this is a lower wattage, 28 watts, and I would actually like to see this in gaming laptops as well, this part. The other ones will have four performance cores, so it's pretty much the same like normal U parts that you get in the previous XPSs. 13 I'm talking about but leveling it up to six performance cores is just amazing and that thing is going to be an absolute beast and remember you can hook up an eGPU wolf that's just awesome now of course the RAM is soldered on but have a look here 32 gigs LPDDR5 5200 megahertz so yeah we're getting the latest memory speeds DDR5 older like CPUs now it doesn't say if it's M.2 here and you can see there, there are some PCI Express 3. So you definitely want to get the PCI Express 4 versions, which start at 512 gigabyte. 
OLED display too. That's the one I'm going, that OLED there. The only thing about the OLED, right, 400 nits versus 500 nits with the 4K. Now, you know, the 3K display is the perfect resolution on a 13 sort of inch for me. I love OLED. I'm not worried about the brightness being 100 nits less because OLED, you get that contrast, right? And of course, we get some full HD versions as well. Touch and non-touch. Both the premium displays are touch, so the 4K Plus and the OLED are touch, and you can get a non-touch. Full HD Plus, 500 nits of brightness, Dolby Vision, that's awesome. 60 watt power adapter. For ports, it has two Thunderbolts and one USB Type-C, and you get an adapter with it, so that's cool. We've talked about the weight, 2.7 pounds, 1.24 kilos, and around 15 millimeters thick, so nice and thin there. 55 watt hour battery. We'll see what happens with Older Lake. It doesn't sound that big, but considering its weight, that's a pretty big battery for that sort of weight. And we have to see how power efficient these Older Lake CPUs are. And Wi-Fi 6E, 720p webcam. I've got to say, I'm blown away by this laptop. They said, you know, the palm rejection is really good. So the trackpad, the ergonomics of that keyboard is just going to be absolutely amazing and game changing. And it looks futuristic and it makes other laptops look old already. And the XPS series already did that. Now they've gone to another level where this thing just looks like futuristic. It's got the power of the 12th gen, hook up an eGPU, what an absolute beast. Probably one of my favourite laptops of CES, I've got to say. There are some good ones, so stay tuned for that. So anyway, that's this. We'll get into some other laptops from Dell, Alienware, Asus. I reckon Asus are killing it. And there's actually some good stuff from MSI. There's heaps. Stay tuned. Catch you in the next one. Telly ho. Oh.